adversity, hardships, and misfortune. These are the words to describe Upset's career. The only constant being his performance throughout the years. Upset just cleaning up the fight, somehow got the triple, somehow got the penta! Always proving himself to be a top contender. Upset for now, leaping in! He wants to finish, but Perk says not today, no! Upset! Upset! But always falling short at the final hurdle. Devastation for Schalke. Long live the Lion Kings! Now, he has found his way back to the LEC stage with vitality. Upset. LEC's best 80 carry to have never won a title. To be honest, when I said the statement, I'm way too good to never have won a split, I didn't think it was controversial at all. Winning spring would mean a lot for me because obviously I never won a split and I think I'm way too good to never have won a split. G2 tearing through Fnatic. This was their last chance and they missed. Who would have thought a 3-0 in favor of G2? I still believe it, of course. I think I was kind of surprised, honestly, but maybe that's just my own uh, delusion or ego. <laughs> Based on his like pure skill and what people will be seeing in game, like he definitely deserves it. Oh my god, big damage. Carzy finds Whoa. forward, full confidence, but he gets netted back. All the tra traps again! Oh. Upsets, traps, upsets. Caitlyn is on point here. Carzy can't even move. I still believe I have what it takes to win a split. And right now I would probably even call him the, the best. And Kaiser have all of their summoners here though. This is going to be a bit of a difficult dive. Cleanse coming out, the Ignite taking away. Doss flashing away, Upset on the chase. Upset will get one. He's trying to hold off Upset. Oh, they upset. take down oh, Perks. Upset. The rest oh, of Team Upset, upset. Upset. Move away. upset gets over the wall, gets another. I think it's a lot about timing, about luck, about effort as well. And having that all at the right moment to be in that best group of players. So him not winning his place is for sure criminal, but I would say that uh, with Vitality we have a good chance to, to make it happen now. Who are you looking at in the ADC role that you think are really going to show us things? I mean, I think Comp, Patrick, and yeah. Ups, uh, Upset, my apologies. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I still think he's an incredibly talented AD carry. He he's one of the big surprises that we don't see this split. Throughout the year, I had a lot of differences on how I think we should do things as a team. I was growing more and more unhappy being in that environment, so I kind of didn't think it would be good for us to continue, and they felt a similar sentiment. So I wanted to go to a different team, and it didn't manage to work, despite there being a lot of interest for me. Upset is back, and he's on Vitality, and I think no shade to Neon whatsoever, but obviously Upset was Fantastic last year. People always say I'm like really good at poaching, but obviously I'm not that good at poaching, right? You know, because it took us like six years to play together. Uh, I think that was just a kind of natural fit. We have all the individual talent. I think that's pretty clear. We just need to really focus on our communication and shape the identity a little bit more. Because I know him for such a long time, it just feels like we are actually playing together for longer than we are. We were lacking general direction and leadership from the bot jungle part of the game. But I think what makes him really special is that he, he shot calls and he's just super vocal for an ADC player. And I think that makes the game really, really easy. So having like a veteran ADC that <laughs> kind of takes me by the hand sometimes, right? I think that helps me a lot and I'm like getting better each day. The absolute ceiling of this team is definitely a world-class team or world-class team that can also win LEC, but right now we are pretty far from that, I think. We are not a great team yet. I think we need to put a lot more effort into playing together when people are strong, when people are weak, knowing how to stabilize the game. I think our ceiling is, you know, winning world. I think you always have to be a little bit delusional in order to make it work, you know. Winning my first split would definitely take some sort of pressure off myself that I've been putting for myself. It's always about being in that right team, being in that right environment, and uh, hopefully it's this place, and it definitely can be.